Hours after being released from jail, the chairman of Turkey's Chumhuriyet newspaper joined a protest in support of a free press Thursday. He had been held behind bars for 500 days and was only released pending an appeal. He and 12 other journalists were handed multiple sentences for aiding and abetting terror organizations. I am currently free, but it is not over. This protest, these guardians of justice have one more member now, but others will join. We will become a big crowd. Turkey's free media are among those on the front line of the battle for human rights, says Amnesty International. At any one time since the coup attempt in Turkey, there's been no less than 120 media workers and journalists imprisoned. Anti-terrorism laws are being used to uh, silence uh, journalists and, and kill off independent journalism in Turkey. Those laws are being exercised under Turkey's state of emergency, in place since the failed coup in 2016 and renewed for a seventh time last week. It's just simply uh, giving a carte blanche to the government and the authorities to implement draconian measures that limit rights of um, pretty much everybody. Amnesty says much of Turkey's once vibrant civil society has been silenced. Public gatherings have been banned. More than 100,000 people have faced criminal investigations. 50,000 have been imprisoned pending trial and more than 107,000 public sector employees have been fired. Several Amnesty International workers are among the human rights activists behind bars. More than 800 people were detained for expressing opposition to the recent Turkish military offensive in Afrin, Syria. One activist, Ali Erol, is facing a criminal investigation for terrorist propaganda for a Twitter post of an olive branch next to anti-war hashtags. Human rights defenders need our support and solidarity. They need uh, states with influence on Turkey to speak out. Amnesty's report follows strong criticism from the United Nations and the European Union over the state of human rights in Turkey. Turkey's government repeatedly has said the crackdown is needed to target what it calls terrorist organizations and those working against the Turkish state. It blames a US-based cleric, Fethullah Gulen, for the 2016 coup attempt, a charge he has denied. Henry Richwell for VOA News, London.